Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Brian and Jim with Drink and Beer and Play a Game, and today we're checking out the last Rambo game. It's actually Rambo the Video Game for the PS3. Released in 2014, this was developed by Taeyeon and published by Reef Entertainment Limited. You think I am Who stupid? they are, I don't you think know. We don't know about this the game's region? pretty infamous for being pretty terrible. Does it deserve all the hate it gets? Let's find out. The graphics. When this game came out, a lot of people said that the graphics were pretty terrible. Basically, PlayStation 2 level. And you know what? That doesn't even fucking cover it. These graphics are awful. How the hell does a game come out this late in the seventh generation and look this bad? This is worse than Ride to Hell Retribution, graphically. I just... And there's not that much going on in this game. I don't understand how it's so bad. There's so much texture popping. There's so much slowdown. It's so choppy. The animations on the cutscenes are ridiculous. Look at these faces! Look at these faces! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I could go on and on, but you just need to know that these are terrible. Ugh. All right, so when it comes to scores, Brian gave it a two, I gave it a one. This is awful. And as far as beer goes, I'm just going to kick it off with three beers because you're going to need a lot of alcohol to get through this. The sound. Oh, wow. Again, this is pretty terrible. I guess I'll start with the positives, and the music is ripped straight from the movies. And it's movie quality-ish, so that's good. The sound effects are very, very weak and low volume and no impact and, like, punches and kicks with just no thud. Gunshots that barely ring out. Just the whole thing just... It's so lacking. Like and the voice work. Oh, holy shit. So the good thing is that it's taken directly from the movie. The bad thing is I think someone put a microphone next to a TV that was playing a VHS. Because the sound quality is horrific. It really does... I, I can't even explain it good enough. It's so muddy and just... just get, uh, uh, all right, you know what? Just listen to this. Listen to this garbage. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission you see is what over. I mean? Brian gave it a 2. I gave it a 3 solely for the decent music. The and as far as beer goes, uh, I guess I can't kill anyone, so... I'll add another 2 beers for the bad voice and the bad sound effects. <laughs> the control. This game already has so little going for it, and they decided... Let's put a rail shooter on a console and not have a light gun capability. Like, what the shit? I don't, and I didn't play it on the PC, so I can't compare it to there, but using the controller with the PS3, this game is so goddamn annoying. You drag your goddamn crosshair across the screen, and it takes so long. Even if you increase your sensitivity, it just takes way too long to get over to your enemies. And the game basically boils down to a very shitty rail shooter with a bunch of quick time events. And even those, sometimes you feel like they should be good or perfect, and it'll give you a bad score. Or you think, oh, that sucked, and it'll give you perfect. It's so goddamn inconsistent. And don't even get me started about the goddamn ammo reload wheel. Think of Gears of War and that system. And that was a pretty decent system. In this game, you will be constantly attempting to reload, and it, you'll get so many goddamn jams because it's just a terrible idea to do in a goddamn rail shooter where you don't have a light gun. So as you see from our scores, Jim and I, we both gave it threes. Once you get used to it, it is playable, but man oh man, is it just rough to use. And as far as beers, I'm sticking with the, the same number as my score. I gotta put three extra beers on here. Fuck this game. So I covered pretty much most of the gameplay and the control, but the only other thing I'll really touch on is that this is the only Rambo game that really follows the movies. So the plot is literally going from Rambo in Vietnam up to the third movie. And in painstaking detail, you will have a million cutscenes that attempt to replicate what those movies brought us. My number one suggestion, go watch the movies instead of playing this game. You do have this interesting skills and perks tree, which basically as you continue to play through the game and earn points in the level, you can upgrade Rambo, making him tougher, shoot more, hold more ammo, and he has perks that 
are very situational, like if you shoot a guy in the head, you'll get extra health. That's a nice touch, but it also adds a huge level of grindiness to a game that you really don't want to keep playing. So it just annoyed Jim and I even further. I guess the last thing I'll really touch on is Rambo has this unique ability to go into rage mode. And when you kill people, that's your health. And you're going to need that a lot because you, you will get shot to shit in this game. Anyway, when it comes to the scores, we both gave it twos. This is just a game that was not fun. And get trying to go back through and grind out some scores so we could play the later stages just annoyed the shit out of us. So as far as beers, I'm adding two. One for me and one for Jim for just having to put up with this game. All right, the originality. Um, not a lot here. How really original can quick times and rail shooters be? But there are a few things. For one, it's the only home console based rail shooter Rambo, which, I mean, it mimics the multiple arcade games, so I guess there's points there. Also, it's really the only Rambo game that truly follows the movies, so that's pretty important. And you don't typically see these kind of experience and perk trees in rail shooters like this. Normally, they're very bare bones, even more than this, but. That aside, there's not that much new. So, Brian gave it a three, I gave it a two, and as far as beers go, uh, oh man, we have been drinking a lot. I'm just gonna add one happy beer for throwing in that perk tree, why not? I'll keep replayability short. You heard Jim and I both talk about the grindy nature of the game, the fact that you have to go back and play through a whole bunch if you wanna unlock all those skills and perks. You also have Troutman's challenges which just make give you some crazy goddamn challenges to do to unlock better secondary weapons or more arrows or grenades whatever you need so it adds some levels of replayability but the core gameplay never really changes it is a hard son of a bitch like i mentioned and that last level much like rambo 3 the arcade game is goddamn unrelenting we still haven't beaten it, so don't expect to see the ending in this video. As you see from our scores, we could only give it a 4. It wasn't even multiplayer, and the fact that it's just so annoying to go back and play, we didn't want to reward this game anymore. I'll just add one more beer, just for the pure fact that I actually had to buy this piece of shit game. So overall, as you can tell, we did not enjoy ourselves. Nope. And this is one of the rare times where we actually probably agree with a lot of reviewers out there that really shitted on this game, because it is awful. I think the thing that hurts it the most, though, is that it's tied to a movie franchise that Jim and I love. It had potential to be, I guess, a good game had they not chosen a rail shooter and used current graphics. I really hope one day in the future they come out with a more legit Rambo game to do honor to such a kick-ass series. I want to see a game based on Rambo 4. Ah, what? It's called John Rambo. No, it's just called Rambo. Anyway, I would love to see that too, but I don't know. I guess people are giving up on this franchise. Maybe like we're seeing with a lot of other indie developers, someone who has love for this series will do it justice because this game did not. So as you see from our scores, <laughs> we both gave it a 2. It really doesn't deserve any more. The fact that I guess it is technically playable is really the only saving grace. So when we combined everything together, it comes out to a 2.4, and that's pretty much right where our hearts are with this game. Don't be fooled. Don't even, if you're curious, go out and buy it. It's worth way too much. It still goes for like 20 bucks at least and it's not worth your money, not even for a joke. When it comes to the beer pairing, we were first thinking about throwing something really strong at you guys, but instead, I decided to choose a beer from the Nishamni Brewing Company, and I'm going with their Croydon Cream Ale. Listen, this is a great brewing company, but this is probably my least favorite beer, and cream ales just never really do it for me. So, if you're gonna play this game, which I really hope you don't, you better get yourself at least a case, because you're going to need to pound through a lot of beer to just deal with the frustration that is Rambo the Video Game. But remember to drink your beers and play your games responsibly. As always guys, thanks for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave some comments, or better yet, why not subscribe? Till next time guys, cheers.